peddling drugs. Because Jeffrey told me. Oh, of course. Now, look, I know all about Salerno's drug operation, and I saw you with him. And Spotting's involved in this somehow, and I saw you with Alan. Cassie, you saw me talking to Alan Spaulding and giving something to a mobster. And you just knew that in your heart, it had to be this. Cigars. Cigars, Cassie. Cigars. Somebody call a cop. That's a box of cigars. I thought that... You thought they were drugs. Drugs, Cassie. Yes, I think you've made that perfectly clear. Edmund. Oh. For the Spanish ambassador, he's a, a personal guest of mine tonight. I'm so you sorry. You chide me, I suppose, for greasing the wheels of diplomacy with legal contraband, but sometimes that's just how things get done. I know. And I did the same thing with Vincent Salerno because I needed a favor from him. What could you possibly want from that man? Cassie, I wanted this party to be perfection. I don't understand. I wanted I to give something back to you. I wanted to throw a fantastic sensational, successful party in your hotel. And that meant making sure the right element was in attendance and the wrong element was not. Vincent Salerno promised to stay away and all it was gonna take was a box of cigars. Oh my God, how could I be so stupid? Edmund! Edmund! Ah, Neil, think of our rewards in due time. We don't wanna make a mistake here. I made a terrible mistake. Yeah. So, what's it like sharing your bed with the drug kingpin? I'm so sorry. Cassie, I'm so sorry. Cassie, 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 what's, what's, what's really just eating me up here is how you arrived at the conclusion you did. I didn't want to, Edmund, I didn't want to, but I kept catching you in little lies, and I saw you with Salerno. What was I supposed to think? I think, Cassie, you were supposed to trust me. You were supposed to have faith in me. No, 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 wait. After what I saw. After what I heard? Cassie, what you thought you saw, what you thought you heard. Cassie, uh, once you started, you never stopped telling me how much you loved me, how much I meant to your family, but I think, I think you were saying all that, not because you believed it, but because you wanted to believe no. it. No, no. No matter what I thought, no, no matter what I thought, I should have cornered you and made you explain everything to me. Why didn't you? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know, Cassie, and, and, and that's just, it's, it's not good enough. Did Danny know? Well, if you'll excuse me, please. Look, you have to believe me. I did not. I did. I thought the worst of you. Are you happy? No, Cassie, I'm not. Well, you were hammering me for months. That I had every right not to trust you. That you couldn't forgive yourself, so why should I? What? Look, my point is, if you were so afraid that I was going to think the worst of you, why were you fanning the flames? What flames? You were sneaking around here. You were lying to me. I woke you up the other morning to tell you how much I loved you and that you could tell me anything. And you could have told me about this stupid plan then. Stupid? Stupid? Oh, come on. Come on, man. I mean, what are we doing here? Huh? Cassie, I have no idea. There have been misunderstandings. There have been double meanings. And there have been half-truths, OK? All for what? The greater good here? Well, when you put it that way. I'm right. Oh, Cassie, on that point, you're exactly right. But drugs? Half-truths for the greater good of gr drugs? Couldn't it possibly have been for something else? Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, Cassie, would you come with me just for a second? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. I have a, a very important announcement to make at this time. Um, tonight, we have uh, had quite a magnificent evening, and it's, uh, we're very grateful to Ambassador Winslow for pulling it off. He did a magnificent job, don't you think? It's been quite a sparkling event. 
Now, he is keeping something under wrap, though. Yes. You see, he and I made a bet. I bet him that he couldn't pull off such a magnificent evening, and guess what? I lost. I lost big time. <laughs> but now, for the surprise. Cassie? Tonight benefits something very near to your heart. I want you to know that all of the money made here this evening, and it's quite, quite a lot, goes to the building of a new wing on the Children's Museum of San Cristobal. Wow, Alan, this, this is incredible. I... Did you promise Edmund this money? Well, yes, of course. Let's make a toast, uh, if we could. Uh. A toast, ladies and gentlemen, to the children. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> Edmund? Um, Tammy, I'm sorry. Whatever it is, it's, uh, it's not a good time. What's wrong? Um, well, your mother and I are, are fighting, I guess. About what? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Tammy, you know, I never apologized to you. For what? For jumping to a whole lot of conclusions when you and Joey, well, up at the cabin, when, about what you and Joey might have I made assumptions, and I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, they always end up badly. What's going on, Uncle Edmund? Uncle Edmund. I like hearing that. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, Tammy. You are young, you're vibrant, you're full of life. You and Joey, be honest with each other about everything. Talk about rehash every plan, every intention, everything. Until you're blue in the face because it's worth it. So don't make the same mistakes I did advice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I'm a little too sad to hone a rapier with. The best cure for sadness? A hug from somebody who cares. Yeah, well, in my life, I guess those people have just been in short supply. <laughs> <laughs> 